Hey folks, uh, Jim Perry here, fishing the big sandy portion of Kentucky Lake here in Tennessee near Paris Lake State Park. Well, it's the same old thing as I've done the last couple of trips. I'm out here fishing some drop-offs, fishing ledges with some natural cover stumps on it. Depth, uh, best depth as far as catching what I caught, about 18, 19 feet. I fished a little shallower, not much, but then I fished a little deeper, but seemed like this cover where their fish were hanging was about 18, 19 feet. Still a lot of little fish. You can see here this particular fish, the reason I left it on the video is because I'm going to show you how small it is and it hit this jig. It, uh, these jigs I'm using are quarter ounce and the jig is almost as big as a crappie so those little fish will hit those bigger jigs. I was using two quarter ounce jigs on this rig to give me some weight because, as I said, down in those depths, you know, 19 foot, I wanted that line to be vertical, and when I moved, it wouldn't swing back too much. So I'm having to measure a lot of them in the measuring board. they got to be 10 inches long here in uh, Tennessee on Kentucky Lake. So, you know, it is what it is. I refer to it as kindergarten fish. I look at this. Uh, he's not He's not going to make it. I'm like, no, nah, let me look at it again. Folks, I'm fishing for supper. You know, my wife said bring some back for supper, so this is a serious supper trip here today. Surface temperature is 40, point the color's pretty good. It was a little dinger the last trip was out, but it's cleared up just a little bit, so the watercolor's okay. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna have to go back, so they are what they are, but they will eat, those 10 inch ones will eat. This is a fish that we used to have lots of them in Kentucky Lake. It used to be a big deal for wintertime sauger fish. This is a sauger. And, but, you know, as I said, people go out in the winter and fish live bait, tip a jig tip with live bait and catch them. But for whatever reason, we just don't have that population anymore. I don't know why, but uh, they've disappeared, so you don't catch me. they got to be 14 inches long. And uh, I didn't have the ruler right there handy but I put him in a bucket had water in it and then I measured it when I got in and it was legal keeper 14 inches so this uh, winds got up just a little bit out of the south not a big deal didn't make you know handicap my fishing or anything so still just stayed where I was and I threw that marker out because this particular little ledge on this point I threw it out in a video I think the previous video I made on this particular point so it's been holding, uh, holding some crappie. I want to tell you, if you fish double rigs like I do and use cotton gloves in winter time, you're going to get those jigs hung up in those gloves. So if you don't want a lot of holes in those gloves, you best take them off when you go to mess with that fish or those jigs because uh, invariably you're going to get those jersey gloves. <laughs> to oh I think that was a keeper too, and I'm not happy because I like to say fish it for supper, but in he went. Just more, more the same. Putting that jig down on the bottom, just really close to the bottom, and uh, holding it, holding it still, and they'll pop it and get on it. I'm using uh, 10 pound test mono on these rigs uh, and I broke off two or three times on this trip, you know, get hung and break and that's just going to happen, so. You can go up a little bit, you know, in your line test and I don't think it'll make that big a deal. This fish here, uh, is not that big of a crappie, but I didn't want to take a chance on it because it was bigger than anything I caught, and it, you know, weighed less than a pound. I, you know, it didn't weigh a pound, it weighed less than a pound, so it's not that big by some, you know, some situations, but uh, it was, anyway, as I said, this was a sucker fish. Watch this fish here. I put him in the checker. It's legal. I'm going to turn to put him in the bucket and watch what happens. Oh. In he goes. I call him Houdini. 
I'm not happy right here, guys, because I don't think I had enough to suffer at this point in time. Oh. Puts a lot of pressure on the old man out there when, you know, what you catch, you're going to have to suffer. You either eat that or the fish you catch or you have to eat something else, especially when the wife tells you to bring enough home for supper. He's legal. Uh, it's going in a box. And uh, that's pretty well going to wind this trip up. I've had a good day, caught some fish. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day, guys.